Recently, I watched a video on the Manosphere by FD Signifier, and while he went into a very long, dissected view of the Manosphere, I think that the thing I found most interesting was a part toward the end, where he talked about how the Manosphere allows young men a way to establish confidence. And so when they reject the Manosphere, there really isn't a correlative effort on the other side to help them build confidence. And I'm not telling you that I'm going to be able to give you dating advice, because I certainly am not. But I figured, why not? I'll take a stab at it. Maybe I can explain to you why you absolutely should have confidence in yourself. If the folks who are like the pickup artists or those broke cast folks or the pseudo philosophers are telling you that you need to transform yourself or become something else in order to attract women, and that's your goal that's going to make your life worth living, there are so many problems that we need to unpack with that. The first one being that they think you need to change that you need to be something you are not. That is a false notion. Another one is that you need to be in a relationship in order to establish confidence. I would argue that that is the worst way to define whether you have value or should be confident here and now. So let's try to change that dialogue starting with why you should have confidence with who you are right now. And this is the point where I'm talking directly to you. You watching this video right now, okay? I am talking directly to you. You have worth. You might not even understand what worth you have. And I'm not talking about inner secret crap or anything like that. I am talking about the influence, the people that you have touched, the value that you have added to society already. Go back. Think for a moment about your life leading up to this point. And I want you to think about every smile you put on every face. I want you to think about every thank you you received from somebody else. I want you to think about every attaboy that you received. I want you to think about those days where you accomplished something and you felt really good about it, that you built something, that you made something. And tell me that that didn't add value, not just to your life, but to the lives of others. You probably didn't even think about that. You probably thought that that was just, what, social norms? No, man, that was something you did. And you should feel good about that. You should feel real confident in yourself because you can make that happen whenever you want, can't you? You probably do it without even thinking about it. You don't need anybody else to define that. You don't need somebody else in your life at all in order to define that. You don't need to be in a relationship at all in order to define that. And I'm going to explain something to you. Even if you want to be in one, even if you want to attract women, even if you want to be a ladies' man, you are going to be so much better at it once you are comfortable with who you are right now. Let's start here. Admit to yourself what you actually like. Not, not what you think other men want you to like. But what you actually like, you have to go a little bit deeper. Not just, I like to cook, or I like to draw, or I like to take walks, or I like to play sports. What about it do you like? Do I like overcoming adversity? Do I like to create? Do I like to learn? Do I like to observe? Do I like to explore? Because now you're actually getting down to who you are intrinsically as a person. Once you understand that, the basic aspects of what you like, who you are, you can expand your horizons endlessly. And it's different for every person. If there's anyone out there that's trying to give you a quick and easy way that will work for every single person on the planet to get you confident, they are lying to you. 
That is not how people work. People are not math. Everybody is different. You are different than everybody else. That's not a bad thing. You are unique. Own that. Look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm the only one of me there is. And I'm going to be the best me I can be. And then go out there and do it. Is it going to work out perfectly? No. No, of course it's not. Is it going to be the best version of the experience that you could possibly ask for? The best scenario? No, it's not. The point is you are making the effort for yourself. You have so much power and influence and you don't even understand it. And there are those that are going to try and convince you that you don't, that they need to shape you into a person who has that. Don't let them. You always had it. You just didn't realize it. You have it now. And at the end of the day, once you start admitting to yourself who you are, because you seek it out, not for other people, but for yourself, that's your strength. And that builds confidence in a much more positive way than anything that the Manosphere can offer. And hey, I'm giving you all of this for free. No courses, no special pills, free advice from me to you. And if one day you do find somebody that you like, you know exactly who you are. You don't have to pretend anymore. And you know what? If they don't like you for who you are, who you really are, they're not worthy of your time. Move on. Find someone else. The world is populated with doomed relationships that are built on people lying to themselves first and foremost until they can't do it anymore. Break the cycle. Don't lie to yourself because it's lying to everybody else in the process. Frankly, I don't even know why you're trying to seek out people that can give you tips on being confident. There's no reason you shouldn't be. There's no reason that you shouldn't be confident. Look at you. Take a good hard look at yourself. Remember back. Think about everything that you've done up to this point. Tell me that that isn't worthwhile. Tell me that you don't have worth. You can't. You can't. The world of today is trying desperately to tell young men that they need to do this and this and this and that and the other thing in order to be something. And it is bull. That is society trying to mold you into something that you are intrinsically not. It's hyperbolic and it's reductionist. You are not like anybody else. It would be boring if everybody was the same. No one would like it. And yet everyone is trying to somehow model themselves after somebody else. And they're unhappy. And everybody is seeking confidence. But you're seeking confidence in being someone that you are not, and therefore it will intrinsically fail. Are we perfect beings? No. And we're not going to be. You're going to be imperfect. Now, that doesn't mean that we can't try to hone ourselves, constantly sharpening an edge and folding ourselves back over and over and over again. It takes work. It takes a willingness to work on yourself. But you will not find your confidence. You will not find your passion through violence and anger and hatred and aggression, it's not going to bring you what you want. It's not going to make you happy. So why would you seek it out? So let's say that you've rooted yourself. You've found your center. You've found the things that you care about. You've found your passion and you have embraced it. And then Let's say that you have honed yourself. You have worked out 
the biggest problems that you have. You have found what makes you angry or bitter, and you have learned what that was, and you've worked on yourself so that you don't feel that anymore, or at least you've reduced it. You're in a good place. You're in a good headspace now, and you've accepted that you have the power that you already had. You have another question to ask yourself. What am I going to do with that power? Am I going to use it to uplift others or tear them down? And you see, it's at this point where the heroes and villains are made. And granted, you can choose to be either one of them. But why did you go through all of this work? Why did you try to improve yourself so much? Why were you so interested in forming connections with other people if you just wanted to be the villain? No, 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 no. You see, people that are willing to put in that work, people that are willing to do the hard thing, they are heroes. They're not villains. And the heroes uplift. So you pass it on to the next generation, to the generation after that, and you teach them how to establish that confidence. You teach them how to be better people. Those that are most vulnerable, that are the most marginalized and disenfranchised, those are the people you can help the most too. Because at that point, it is not about you anymore. It is about something so much larger, and you are part of it. None of this, by the way, was predicated on getting a date or finding a wife. None of it. All circumstantial. And here's the thing. No one can take it away from you either. You gave it to yourself. Now tell me that doesn't sound like a little bit better framework to work with. I am by no means a person I would want you to model your life after. But that's sort of the point. You shouldn't have to model your life after anybody. There might be qualities about someone else that you admire. Good. But that doesn't mean you have to be that. There are people out there trying to tell you that you're lost. No one is really lost. No one can take you away from yourself. If you feel lost or disenfranchised or disillusioned, you're listening to the wrong people. Everything you need, you already have. I shouldn't even have to tell you that. You shouldn't even need this video. You don't. You don't need this. You don't need me. You don't need some dude who put a video up on a website to explain this to you. You already intrinsically know this. You know this deep down inside right now. You root yourself. You hone yourself. And you pass it along to others. That's not just establishing confidence or pride, or enthusiasm, or passion. That's building legacy. Something that we are all desperately searching for. Purpose. But you see, you already have purpose. You're just on a journey to figure out what that is. And if you don't feel like your life has purpose, cast your eyes in a new direction. This life is so much bigger than picking someone up at a bar. The folks that are out there trying to reduce down the whole of life experience to that are very much missing the point. There is a lot of life out there, and do not let them tell you that you are not worthy of it, or that you have to go through these steps, genuflect, to get there. No, do not follow the path that they have laid out for you. 
follow the path that you forge for yourself. Your prophecy for the day. Power does not make a man. What you do with power does.